so yesterday we did the walk and um, I'll, I'll check out your walks later um, but I think the next thing we should do is the run and the paper I handed out this morning uh, on page uh, 177 there's a there's a couple of different ones uh, runs and the idea is exactly the same the only thing you should notice that runs uh, are at a, at a different pace so you can see that um, the up and down positions are at, at different points um, so it's a it's a it's a 14 frame cycle or 13 frame cycle so what I'll do is I'll start out just uh, putting this at one point here and then I'll just go and delete all channels there we go so no animation oh sorry delete all by type channels there we go so now no animation left so then I will uh, look at uh, at the uh, the animation on page uh, 177 and I will try to recreate uh, that run so this is uh, exactly the same method as yesterday so just uh, oops. start out with, uh, with the contact position in the run here and I probably need to separate the feed a little bit here So that's good. So this one should be forward and this one should be back. This foot looks really nice now. Um, like something like this. Move it up and rotate this. So here you can see something interesting happening. This is the result of um, the IK chain having a look at point. It's this thing here. So when it passes across the knee, it will go bad. Then what I can do is grab this, and then I can move it out in front again, and then it will work nicely. So just put it down here. So that sort of works. So what I'll just do here is uh, just make the foot be something like this. Now he he has has slightly large feet as we talked about, so it's it's a little tricky, but it's something like this maybe rotate this a little bit more like so and then I need to put the, the actually the arms I'll just uh, put it neutral for now set this at zero and set this thing at zero as well and I'll set this thing at zero as well so I'm just um, this one needs to be a zero as well. Good. So now I'm only concentrating on the legs for now. Um, so maybe I should move this down just a little bit so that he has this contact with his foot. So he's not overstretching, he's just, just touching the ground there. So that is the run and then I should probably just rotate his upper body a little bit because you sort of lean into the run. Essentially, a run is uh, is one long fall that is just interrupted by your legs. And just there. So key that. Key. Oop. Key that. And key that. And then I'll go to 25 and key the same things. There. 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 And then at 13. I need to key this thing and then I need to set this these feet up uh, the opposite way so I move this back and I rotate this around there and then I move it up this is of course easier if I just look at it from the right view here so I'm just staying in perspective so there that's good put a key in that and then this thing here I need to rotate the other way just move it over here and then rotate it so that it is like so and then the Y position should it be at zero 
and then again I just need to just catch his leg like oh, maybe it's too much here yeah. like so key that as well so that gives us a little uh, nice uh, cycle that works like this so essentially that is uh, all of the contact positions we have there then we need to put in the the passing positions <coughs> And uh, they are at uh, frame four. Sorry, ah, I did it the wrong way now. I uh, made it uh, too slow. This thing should be at seven. And this thing should be at 13, what's that? Yeah, 13, sorry. Um, because it's a run, of course. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Silly me. Just go back and make it all there. And then grab all of the feet and this thing. So now they're all selected. And double click here. And then just grab this and then drag it down to like so. And then the next thing I can do is just snap my keys. There. And they snap to. 1, 7, and 13. So it should work now. Should have the same thing, just much faster. It looks about right. Good. So then we have to look at the, the passing position, which is at uh, frame 4. And this is where he is uh, slightly up. So uh, in this case, it will be the left leg, or sorry, the right leg that will be down. Just set this to zero and the rotation should be slightly up but I'll, I'll just do this in a different way so I just put it like this for now just key that and then actually the the leg moving forwards seems to look quite nice and then uh, I'll leave him at the same point there and then the other thing should be at frame 10 and in this case it's this thing here zero the y and zero the rotation and then key that like so. so let's see how that works it's not too bad he's running really fast so let's get back to it um, then add frame Two, he's catching his uh, his weight, so that is here. So there, we should have this thing down. There we go. And uh, just key that. And then we should have his weight down a bit. Maybe like so. Put a key there. And that should be the same thing at frame 8 so I'll just middle mouse button click there should have the same height on his uh, on his his uh, pelvis and then this thing should be at 0 again and key that so let's have a look at how that works so already we have something that that sort of works and let's have a look here so at this is frame 2 and then frame 3 that is actually very close to the same thing we're seeing uh, in the in the, the drawing for frame 3 so I'll just leave that then frame 4 is our passing position here he should be up a little bit I think I somehow got him down so there should be up there and the same thing for 10, need to put him slightly up, like so. Oops. So it sort of works now. So that was frame 4. And then uh, frame 5, he's like really stretched out. So he's like, uh, this foot here is still flat on the ground. And put it down. So it's sort of stretching a bit there. Um, maybe it's uh, it's up on the uh, maybe it's rolling. So we can do 
this thing called heel peel, but I'll get back to that in a little little while. I won't touch that yet because that is uh, uh, something special to this rig. So just key that one, and then the same thing for frame 11. I want this foot here to be down and flat, and then key that. So there and there. Yeah. But let's see that. That also works quite nice. And then at frame 6, he's actually uh, in the air, airborne. So here we need to pull the feet off the ground. And, and that is the issue here with this guy, because he has such large feet that we really, really get a problem here. So what we can do here is um, either just make it drag a lot, like so. Um, or move it up a little bit, like so. This this might become too much because it's too much animation, too close together. But I think it'll work. So we have the same thing for this one. So just rotate it, so and then bring it up a little bit. There we go. Can you lift the entire body as well? Um, maybe I could, but but he's actually not moving too much there. So you see, here he's yeah okay. Well he's he's. He's in a stride, so we should pull him up a little bit, like so, and there again. There. So let's see how that works. So it's a fairly decent uh, run. Then what we can do is we can start to work on, on this heel peel action. Um, the, the only issue being that uh, that will also affect the way that... Uh, that he is uh, sort of uh, uh, leaving the ground and so forth. So at four, he has a uh, heel peel in the original here. So what I need to do is go in and peel his heel, and then I would need to move him up a little bit, but to work. And at five, he would also have some uh, some heel peel. So like so, and then his leg should actually be further back. But I'll just leave it here for now. And then we need to go to frame 10 and do the same thing. Some heel peel. And then move him up a little bit. There. And then at frame 11, he would also have a little bit of the heel peel, like so. There we go. So now we have something like this. And you can just uh, just about feel the effect fact that he has this uh, heel peeling action. You you don't really see it because it's so fast. But it is it is happening in there so you can see it's just peeling there. So it's just two frames each time. So that is uh, <coughs> the lower body part of the run. And then obviously the upper body part is exactly like the walk. It's just like more pronounced. So uh, opposing the feet. So in this case it would be this thing here going out that way. So let's just keyframe, oh, maybe just keyframe that. And this thing would be opposing the other way. Let's just keyframe. Should be. Oops. Like. So so key that and then put the same at 13. And then at 7 we need to do the the opposite way. There. And then get this forward. So this will be fairly stiff. For now. Because it's only. The but it's it's actually not bad if he was like a guy in a suit running from a bunch of monsters it would probably work and then again move our way down the the line here so put a key on this and then uh, again at at 7 and at 13 we want it straight and then want it to just move back a little bit and then let this bend so then stretch and then this thing going forward 
it should lag again like so oh that's too much just there and then the same thing for the other one here so one key there there and there and then this is moving this way just overextending it a little bit and then this thing here lagging behind and then we need to do the same thing for his feet um, but actually what now I'm making a very loose arm movement if you look at the images what they're doing is like a more muscular like a more bent all of the way so we could also do that we can actually do this using the graphic graph editor so go to animation editors graph editor and as you can see this is the rotation in the y-axis and that is what we have here so what we can do here is just push this like do this and you see he's moving more like that and then do the same thing for the other side and then grab this and move that down there so it's running more like this So lots of zombies after, and you can of course uh, add the thing with the with the with the foot swiveling around. So for instance, this thing moving. Uh, actually, I'll start by this thing here. So it should be in all the way until it hits this area here. It should go out. So so I should have something in here where I put a key, like in the middle. Uh, let's say. 10, 9, put it in 9. And then just go there to the translate in the x axis. And then grab all of the keys except that one key. And then just. Yeah, it won't help when I'm at that frame. So. And put that in. Just. Uh, put it like. Like there maybe and then do the same thing for the other one should have a key around here and then just go just to translate go to a different frame grab all of them except oh, except that one what except that one and then pull that slide in so we get this so now he's running more with his legs towards the middle and as you know with a run he would also when he's extending he would like rotate more of his body so this thing here we should start doing something like this uh, actually put the same there and then the opposite here and then as he's catching his his weight it should go up like so and the same thing here as he's catching his weight it should go up like so maybe a little bit too much but it uh, if he was rainbow colored it would work <laughs> so anyway you get the idea so um, let's uh, go and do